I recently posted a video on this channel talking about how Andre 3000 disappointed his audience by releasing an album that was him blowing a flute instead of making a rap album. In that same video, I mentioned how Busta Rhymes, <laughs> Busta Rhymes is looking like that old dude in the club trying to make a current album for this current no substance, no soul audience of drill listeners and auto-tune listeners in down south trash quote unquote rap listeners. Buster Rhymes and Andre 3000 put out two garbage albums. And in the comments, you had a bun bunch of emotional males, as usual. How could you say this about Andre 3000? How, did, how could you say this? And then what really got these fruitcakes in a bunch is when I mentioned how Andre 3000 feminized himself and got rewarded from it. And then the comments, what do you mean? You, 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 how could you say he's uh, feminized? Are you sure you're not talking about yourself? Uh, no, I never wore a skirt. I never permed my hair. I never got down behind the scenes. But this is what people in the comments do. They worship rappers, so they deflect everything. Most comments, they never address what you actually said. Everything is a childish, no, you're that way. No, you're hating. No, no, you're a hater. The same people in the comments who always want to type hater, the person typing that, no, you're the hater. You're not some loving individual. You're a moron. You're a kamikaze you're a kamikaze pilot crashing into buildings over a rapper who don't know you or don't care about you. Who would step over your body like Iverson in the finals. Hit the like button. See, I'm the type of person, if you cry and complain about something I said or made, I'm just going to keep doing it. Oh, you didn't like that? Okay, let me go deeper. Pause. Andre 3000 is one of the greatest rappers of all time. He's from one of the greatest duos groups of all time. One of the great movements. But that doesn't excuse things. That's the problem with fans. I like this person so it don't matter what they do. How many times have I made the point of idolatry? It's rampant in society today. People don't value a surgeon, a doctor, a, an educator. No, you, you value rappers, NBA players, and strippers on the gram. A lot of these people, every day of their life, their entire day is about marijuana, Jordans getting re-released, playing 2K, <laughs> and rappers. This is their life. So you're not an adult. No, you're a grown 14-year-old. This is a lot of people, and they cannot handle if you criticize a rapper. People look up to rappers more than... They care more about their favorite rapper than their own children, their mother, their cousin, their neighbor, their goldfish. Th this is what the world has sunk to. This is what the world has become. When I said Andre 3000 feminized himself, that's because he displayed that. In the video, I also mentioned, I also mentioned in the 90s, Busta Rhymes was wearing dresses. That's because he did. You can Google it. He's wearing a bright yellow dress on a red carpet at an award show. And he has his hair tied up like he's your auntie at the cookout. They did this. Buster Rhymes and Andre 3000 feminized themselves. They didn't need to. They have all the talent, substance, charisma they need. Why did they do that? But you have morons in this world, if it comes to a celebrity, if it comes to someone who has talent, they have this obsession with, why does it matter? Or it don't matter. Great. Once again, 
there's a lesson in everything. The lack of morals in society. The lack of standards. This idea of this person has talent, so how could you criticize them? Great. And that's the reason why Puffy or Cosby or R. Kelly or Weinstein, this is why them people could do whatever they want and then for 30 years and then all of a sudden now you want to accuse them of things. It's people like this who turn a blind eye to anything. This person has talent or power or skill so they could do whatever they want. Nothing matters. But you pick and choose because the same people, if I made the same video, but I was saying Ja Rule's fruity, if, if I was clowning Meek Mill, if I was clowning Little Bow Wow, the same person would not care or they'd be laughing along. So they pick and choose. That's nonsense. That's confirmation of you're a delusional idolater. Andre 3000. Look at him in 94, 95. And then look at him around the Rosa Parks, Stank on ya. And then fast forward to when he does Hey Ya, that trash. Andre 3000 permed his hair. He started wearing a skirt, a kilt. He's wearing wigs. He's wearing blonde wigs on stage in video. He's wearing wigs like your mother. And then this industry of people who are not black who control it, they see this, and that's what they always want. People who are non-black, they love for black people to be the face of an agenda. They want you to be the rainbow agenda. They want a black person to be a coon. They want a black person to promote gang banging, destruction. They want a black woman to willingly wear no clothes like all these stripper females are now, and even like Mary J. Blige, who's in her 50s dressing like a prostitute because she never learned the business. So now she has to act like this and dress like this every time you see her. Mary J. Blige is my mother's age. I don't need to see her thigh region like that. It's also the negative impact Little Kim has always had. But that's another video. Andre 3000 feminized himself and those people, them people, the small hats, the pink folk, they rewarded him and they programmed Hey Ya into your head where you still hear it today. The song is trash. Roses, trash. Love Below Speaker Box, trash. Southern, play Southern Playalistic Cadillac Music, classic. ATLians, classic. Aquemini, classic. Stank on you. They had classic after classic, great songs. But then when Andre 3000 takes that last little step, then people say, yes, we got one. Why is Hey Ya and Speaker Below, why is that the highest selling Outkast album? Because one of the members bowed down to an agenda they've always wanted to push, so then they pushed Hey Ya and that album into oblivion. You can't name me three other songs outside of Hey Ya and Roses and The Way You Move. Name me three other songs without looking it up that were actually great quality. Name me three songs from that album, even Hey Ya, all that, all that, all that feminization. Would you pick those songs over AT Aliens? Aquemini, 13th Floor. Why did they push 13th Floor the way they did Hey Ya? 13th Floor from AT Aliens is a soulful, poetic, conscious, introspective record. Powerful record. You never hear the song. They don't praise that song. That song, you know, they put like certain hip-hop songs, certain Tupac songs, certain Nas songs. You know, they're putting it in museums and all these things. 13th Floor should be in a museum somewhere. That should be in, in, a, in some... Music Hall of Fame. Why wasn't that song promoted? But they promote when he permed his hair, was wearing wigs, and put a skirt on. And you have people in the comments crying. You know, I always thought, you know, when I was a kid, a teenager, I remember hearing people say, people hate the truth. If you tell the truth, people will hate you. 
I just thought that was something people say. But no, since making my YouTube channels, when you tell the truth, people will cry about it. Because they are so deep into their worshiping of celebrity. Your favorite celebrity does not value you. They don't. If you drop dead tonight, your favorite rapper, singer, basketball player, they would never even know you existed or that you passed away. They would move on and go about their life. So what are you getting out of crying over celebrities? Please explain that. There's no, I said it before, I'll say it again. There's nothing wrong with liking someone for their talent. There's nothing wrong with admiring someone for their ability. There's nothing wrong with supporting someone. There's nothing wrong with respecting someone. But when you have this delusional, emotional worship where you have a mental breakdown because Eminem or Beyonce or LeBron James or Jay-Z or 50 Cent or Andre 3000 is criticized, that's a weakness and a problem within that individual, within you, the person crying. I have my favorite artist or actors or whatever, and if you criticize them, I'm not going to get emotional. I'm not going to call you a hater. I might think you're a fool or what you're saying is wrong, or maybe if your criticism was in a certain way as valid, I'll say, wow, I never viewed that in that way. You're correct. Most people, they can't do this. Why? I only speak facts as far as you know. And with that said, like this video, share this video, share this video. What I just said needs to be heard. What I said is facts. They gave Andre 3000 a Grammy because he feminized himself. Over Get Rich or Die Trying, the 04 Grammys. Them people don't, they don't, they don't praise those, those, those first four Outkast albums. But they blasted it off when this man fit their agenda. And that's what it is. Like this video, share it. Uh, check out the community section. Check out my previous uploads. Look out for the future ones. Um, donate to the channel if you appreciate the content. If you have a video request, donate to the channel. And the, the Cash App is in the description. Um, check out my other channels, my music channel my gaming channel, my sports channel. Um, I talk the same way I talk here. I talk the same way about sports on my sports channel. All the channels are in the description. Everything you need is in the description of this video. Um, I used to say follow me on Instagram, but for some reason, I think Instagram, I think I was, uh, I think I was like sharing and liking too many posts. So I think I got shadow banned from sharing people's posts. I didn't, I didn't realize, do they... They don't want you to like people. I wasn't spamming likes. I was finding things I liked and I was liking it. I think I liked and shared too much content of other people. So, I don't know. Follow me on Instagram. Um, I'm up out of here. That is it.